Hello YouTube, B3, you're back with another kicking comic book collection update. Yeah, we have lots of really good stuff for you guys today. Some new titles that I'm just starting. Uh, and just lots of really, really cool stuff going on in this update. It's going to be a real good update for you. First up, we have Ultraman Volume 3. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, it kind of hints at other Ultramen joining the the story, which is awesome. As a... Uh, in the last issue, he actually killed an alien. He killed uh, an alien, and he's kind of coming to terms with that. Uh, and he's not so much upset that he killed the alien, because he did what he had to do, but uh, he is kind of upset that he has the power to kill. He he ha has to get used to having the power to kill, and he's like, oh man, uh, I'm just afraid that I'll end up using this power irresponsibly, etc., etc. And uh, he's really cool. And then I think it also kind of hints at Ultraman Jack, maybe. Uh, Red King's in this one. You you probably just saw him, actually. Uh, yeah, Bumo Red King. And then there's another Bimular? I don't know what's up with that. Maybe he's lying about his name. Or maybe the last one was. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, and then Ultra 7 shows up in the end. So that's pretty dope. Ultra 7. But I knew Ultra 7 would show up eventually because I saw a picture of the action figure online. Uh, but yeah, I kind of called who was gonna sort of be Ultra 7 as well. But I'm very happy about that. Ultra 7's really good Ultra. So yeah, that's Ultraman Volume 3, and the only manga I'm currently reading, so that's that. Uh, and then Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Issue 1. You guys saw, I did get Issue 0, which was really good. I got the five, like, regular cover arts. I didn't get white and green, because they were expensive. Uh, and I got two of the pink. But this might already be one of my new favorite titles. I love Power Rangers, right? I'm a Power Rangers guy. I grew up watching Power Rangers. I collect the action figures. I watch it on Netflix all the time. Uh, I just, I love Power Rangers. It's a huge part of my life. And Boom Studios here is just killing it with this new Power Ranger title because I thought it was going to be really campy, but it's really good. It's kind of like this Green Land, not Green Lantern, <laughs> Green Ranger year one thing where uh, he's just switched sides and he's kind of coming to terms with everything, but the powers are still sort of inherently evil, so Rita uh, can still influence him a little bit, and she can, like, talk to him and stuff, but he's trying to ignore her. And the other rangers don't quite trust him, and it's a really good take on the Power Rangers. I love this title already, and it's only on its technically second issue. I love it. This is a fantastic, fantastic title. If you've ever loved Power Rangers, or if you just love a good story, pick this up. It's an amazing, amazing title already. Just incredible. And then all new, all different Avengers. I told you guys something was up with the Vision, and he was being all evil and junk. So it's kind of them fighting Vision, and then Kang the Conqueror. Uh, what he did was he like used future tech to like hack Vision. Uh, during one of Vision's vulnerable moments in time. So Vision's kind of been like an undercover agent for him. But Vision's over it now, and it looks like his emotions are back, I guess. Uh, but it's it's pretty cool. And, you know, kind of something going on between Captain America and Thor, which is cool. And, you know, my the, the three characters I'm reading this title for, Sam, Miss Marvel, uh, Sam Alexander Nova, Miss Marvel, and Miles Morales, Spider-Man, are really really cool you know I'm also reading it to get a handle on this new Captain America and Thor because uh, I actually think they're cool ideas lots of people are complaining about them still but I think they're awesome and I'm in a vision or whatever <laughs> but yeah this was good um, and I'm really enjoying all new all different Avengers it's a good title and then Spider-Man 2099 also a really good title I love his new suit I love his new you know story here it's really cool so he's kind of encountered some inhumans you know um, and there's that one that's always abducting him and kills them if he thinks they're not worthy of being Inhumans or, or if they don't join him and etc. And then one of the Inhumans that was a person that worked for him hatched, but she thinks she's a god because, god, she talks like a friend I know who thinks he's like the best thing ever, but at the same time like complains about god constantly. <laughs> I was reading it and I was like, her character is my friend if he ever got, uh, superpowers. But uh, she was really cool. She could kind of just like teleport anything anywhere, super strength, flight, and vulnerability, do all this crazy stuff. And uh, she was really cool looking. I showed you a picture of her in my last comic book collection update, I believe, uh, in the back panel. But 
she was really cool and kind of just wanted people to to worship her and stuff. She's a really cool looking character. She's kind of like this molten looking goddess lady. Yeah, see, she's pretty cool. She's cool looking. But yeah, I'm really enjoying Spider-Man 2099. And uh, so there's this comic shop near my apartment. I don't normally go to it because I'm a loyal customer of another comic shop. But, uh, you know, every once in a while I'll go there to like grab some back issues or something or like if I missed an issue and I can't get it at my regular shop. Uh, I'll go to the other shop and see if I can find it. And they had a sale on all their, like, Convergence back issues. A dollar an issue. So I, I got a ton of Convergence books. Uh, I'm not going to show them all to you at once. I'm kind of going to, like, separate them up and show them to you throughout different updates. But the first one I read out of all the ones I bought was Convergence Superman. This one was kind of hard for me to... Uh, I didn't read it last time. I wasn't going to when Convergence was fresh. <laughs> but, um... You know, I heard it was a really good one. And, you know, Lois Lane's pregnant and their planet, not planet, their city has been on Talos' planet this whole time. Because, you know, he gathered them all for Brainiac and etc. And, uh, so Superman and Lois Lane are there and they're married, got a baby coming on the way. And they're fighting against the Flashpoint universe, which was supposed to kind of fade out of existence after Barry Allen rewrote the timeline. But it turns out he just splintered the timeline and the Flashpoint people continued to exist anyways. And they ended up fighting the Superman here. And this is a really good version of Superman. Uh, one that most people would prefer, honestly. But yes, yeah, so it's really cool. So I got both issues of that. And in this one, he actually delivers uh, their baby in Flashpoint Batman's Batcave. So you got Thomas Wayne and Batman up there just chilling. Uh, but yeah, I really like Thomas Wayne and Batman in both Flashpoint and also Earth 2. And speaking of Earth 2... Blamo, Earth 2 World's End, Volume 2. So this was like a weekly series for Earth 2. And uh, the thing is, this happens at the same time as the Earth 2 comics. Um, towards the end of that Earth 2 run. Which is fine. And then there's a current like Earth 2 going on right now. I think it's called Earth 2 Society or something. And then they're going to have a rebirth for Earth 2 as well, I believe. Uh, but I'm really enjoying Earth 2. I thought that Mattel was going to give us a figure of this Superman. But it's actually President Superman. Uh, even though I would like Mattel to make all these Earth 2 heroes, including, uh, you know, Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate, Hawk Girl, uh, Superman, Flash, Thomas Wayne, Batman, Alan Scott, Green Lantern, and Power Girl would be cool too. I would actually like a Power Girl figure of her with the House of L symbol on. Because I already have a Power Girl with, you know, the boobage. So I'd really like the one with the House of L symbol. To go with all these. And a Huntress. A Huntress would be great. Uh, I don't need like Sandman or Atom Smasher or, or Red Arrow or anything. But uh, yeah, so this was pretty cool. They fought Darkseid and everything. Um, Mattel's New 52 Darkseid blue dumb figure. But we're getting a DC Icons of him so it's okay. I'm mostly going to talk about action figures in this comic book <laughs> update. But whatever. Yeah there was lots of cool stuff in this uh, graphic novel. It's pretty big. It's a thick one. Got it at Barnes & Noble just because I couldn't wait to read it. Gotta catch up on that Earth, too. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like uh, alternate dimension stories because uh, lots of the time they're kind of an anything goes story. You know? You can kind of do anything you want because there's, you know, an alternate dimension. And I think that's really cool. But, uh, yes, this wasn't a terribly big update. Uh, I still have lots of stuff to read and then tell you guys about. And there's some things I can't read yet because I'm missing some issues. But, uh, yeah, so quick recap. Earth 2 World's End Volume 2 Graphic Novel. Convergence Superman number 2. Convergence Superman number 1. Spider-Man 2099 number 7. All New All Different Avengers number 6. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 1. And also Odorman Volume 3. So, yeah, I'm very, very excited about all these titles. Uh, they're really, really good. I'm mostly excited currently uh, about, from the ones you just saw, I'm mostly excited with Ultraman and Power Rangers there, the Toku titles. Tokutasu, it's life. But, uh, yeah, so uh, if you want to see more comic book collection updates, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, there's action figure stuff and lots of other cool stuff on this channel, too. If you want to check out gaming stuff, uh, check out Super Friends Benefits channel. It's our gaming channel where we do B3 gaming and stuff. And we're going to start doing Pokemon stuff again. I know lots of my viewers like Pokemon, so I'm going to start doing Pokemon stuff again. Um, 
And then you have the Slender Happening, which is our horror drama suspense channel, and Godzilla and Gigan, which is kind of our action figure channel. We do lots of action figure reviews and stuff on there, including Power Rangers and DC, Marvel, you know, all the cool stuff that uh, you saw here today, Ultraman included. So that's it. Thank you all once again. Uh, as I said, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.